In the following tutorial videos we're going to show how the Flex Unity plugin can be used to simulate solid, deformable and liquid materials that can all interact with each other. In this first tutorial video we're going to show how to import the Flex Unity plugin package and introduce the central asset type, the Flex container. In order to start we need to import the Flex Unity plugin package. Go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, browse to your Flex Unity plugin package and select it. In the Import dialog, leave everything selected and hit Import. After importing, you should see a new menu entry with NVIDIA, Flex and all the asset types and the component types, which we are going to cover in this tutorial videos. In the project view you should see a new NVIDIA folder with the scripts and some samples and the flex manual. First we're going to take a look at the central asset type, the container. Let's create one. Select flex and flex container. The flex container manages all the particles that take part in the simulation. In Flex, everything is represented by particles that interact with each other as shown in the following video. Solids, deformables and fluids consist of particles that have different properties and different connectivity to their neighbors. The simulation properties can be edited in the Flex container dialog. All objects that should interact need to be added into one single container. It is important to know that each container can support only one particle size. Therefore all objects added to the container should have roughly the same particle density. The max particles parameter defines how many particles can be injected into the simulation in total. In the next video we're going to show how to add particles to the container and how to render them.